Give us the story of how crazy that was. Yeah, it was the worst travel experience I've had, you know, since I've been here. So, uh, you know, you thought it'd be COVID America that got us, and uh, I guess it was uh, – uh, just a regular old road trip, you know, but just a uh, really, really, really tough trip. I had a hard time getting down there. Uh, obviously delayed here in Abilene. I guess it was an icing malfunction light or something. Missed our connection in Dallas. Uh, you know, I'm pretty fortunate with my brother-in-law being the head football coach at SMU. We got them to work and, and trying to help us out. And with the high school playoffs, with all the other sports still playing volleyball and baseball and softball, we couldn't get a bus, man. And so then we tried everything from limos to Hummers to whatever we could find. And, couldn't find anything but a good old-fashioned party bus, man. So, uh, again, my only Division One team in the history of college basketball to travel from one destination to the other in a party bus. But uh, hopefully that's the last time we have to do it. But uh, we made it. There's a lot of good stories along the way uh, that we don't have enough time to share. Again, maybe, maybe, maybe one night we can take over a whole newscast and share the story. But uh, obviously uh, a lot of adversity. Yeah, you know, again, the travel didn't have anything to do with the game. You know, I mean, we showed up to the game in plenty of time to play it, and you got to give Central Arkansas credit. Uh, those guys played extremely well, and especially in the second half. Uh, we couldn't defend them. We couldn't guard them. First time all year that it's happened to us on that side of the ball. Uh, it was a very frustrating night, uh, I think, for all parties involved. Uh, but we're going to take the hit as a coaching staff. We, we did some things that are uh, – not, not, uh, not us. You know, we made some adjustments and did some things that uh, we haven't done all year, uh, really on both sides of the ball. And uh, so, um, you know, and, and, and that's on us. We shouldn't have done it. We should have stuck with, with some things that have gotten us to where we are. And um, so, again, give Central Arkansas credit, uh, but uh, that's on us, and uh, we'll learn from it. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people upset. We're upset. Our staff's upset. Our players are upset. Uh, it was a big game. It was a tough one to lose. Uh, but it's the game of college basketball. You know, it's life out there. You see it happen all the time when you're not prepared and you're not ready to play. Uh, you can get popped in this game. So uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, there's a lot of people, again, that are, I, I know I know our fans are upset, donors probably, alumni, administration. and uh, But that's a good thing, you know. I mean, there was, a, there was a point in time when, I don't know if you guys were here yet, man, but uh, back in the day, uh, nobody cared about ACU men's basketball, you know. And so uh, I think it's great, man, that people are mad and upset. And, and, and uh, that, that means people care about men's basketball and care about what we're doing. And that's a credit to, uh, to building this program the last four years. Absolutely. I mean, you can't be too hard on yourself. It's just two losses in the South this year. I mean, there's a lot of turmoil in the South and Conference. I don't, it's hard to go undefeated in conference play. Just kind of how the guys responded how, how, what, from what you've seen since the loss. Well, it was great after the game until we got a wreck on the highway. Uh, you know, we hit, a, we hit another truck, uh, so we got stranded on the highway. And so we uh, had a kumbaya on the side of the highway in the pouring down rain at about 10 o'clock in Malvern, Arkansas, or about 10 miles outside. And at that point in time, you had to laugh about it, you know. And so uh, there wasn't anything being said on the bus. Those guys took it hard. Uh, obviously, a lot of frustration and a lot of regrets. But by the time we got to the side of the highway after the wreck, uh, you know, we had a great team meeting on the side, and we kind of laughed about it all. You know, here's the deal, man. At the end of the day, we're 19-4. and four. Uh, we still got one of the best mid-major programs in the country. None, none of that's changed over the last 48 hours. We've got a tough schedule here. We're going to a place uh, playing a Stephen F. Austin, who's been the best team in this league uh, for the last seven or eight years, along with some others, but they've been right there. Uh, it's a place that's always hard to play. It's going to be their senior night again. It was Central Arkansas senior night. It's their senior night. They're not playing in postseason play. Uh, so they've got us and Sam to finish the season. We're going to get their best shot, you know, and so that's great. That, that's what you want. As a competitor, uh, you want to go play meaningful games in March, and this is going to be a meaningful game. We put ourselves in a situation for that um, and uh, at the end of the day in our league uh, we want to win conference championships obviously you know and, and we still have that in our hands we can still control what we can control but at the end of the day you want to get to Katie and have a chance to make the NCAA tournament and this team's earned that right. Obviously game you want to win but your, your three previous losses Arkansas Tech and Sam yeah, programs. yeah. Does this one kind of yeah, work? first time we laid an egg against a team that, yeah, we shouldn't have. But if you look at Central Arkansas and you really study them, you know, and take the record out, every game at home they've played has been really close. They've been in every game at home. They have struggled on the road. Uh, there's no secret to that. And uh, but, but at home, they've played everybody really, really well and had a chance to win. They just haven't done it. And uh, give them credit. You know, they, uh, we, we jumped on them quick. We had a chance to put them away, and we didn't. And when you have a ch chance to put somebody away, uh, you got to do it. And we didn't. We, we did not close out the first half. That, that's where the game was lost, the first half. The last two or three minutes of the first half, we got in foul trouble. We started playing some guys out of position. Uh, we fouled. With the, they are the best free throw shooting team in the league, and we fouled them uh, down the stretch. We did not handle it. It goes from a 19-point lead uh, to a 13-point lead at halftime. And then uh, we come out. Out. We hit a three to start the second half, and then we turn the ball over two straight times, and they hit threes, and then here we go. Now you're in a 
10 point game, nine point game, and they're starting to believe it's senior night. They got their parents there in the stands, and um, they played well, you know. So give them credit, you know. Um, that's a very talented offensive basketball team. Very, very talented uh, offensive basketball team, and play well at home, you know. And so you got to give them credit. We did not play well, uh, but, but Central Arkansas had a lot to do with it. They deserve to win, and uh, we're truth tellers here. We're going to hold ourselves accountable for it, and uh, we're going to learn from it and move on. You clinched a conference <clears throat> tournament bid a long time ago, but now as far as seeding, the top four are kind of set. <sighs> How important is positioning? Yeah, I think position's important, uh, but a lot of that's to the luck of the draw, kind of uh, what teams you get on your side uh, that maybe you match up with better than the other teams that you don't match up with well. Uh, so we have no, no control over that. We're going to find out Sunday what, what side we're on and where, where we go. Uh, I think we have positioned ourselves. I haven't looked at it, so you, you've probably looked at it more than me. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think the double buy is still in play. Obviously, there's a lot of things that happened this week, uh, and we still control some things on that end, too. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, we're definitely going to get the single buy, I think, according to you. So so uh, we won't play till Thursday night. I think they just made an announcement today that we're going to 10 teams. So the tournament's going to start a little bit earlier. So, um, you know, again, man, you know, all we can do is control us. Uh, we got SFA on Wednesday night, a big game at their place, hostile environment, really, really good. Uh, you know, one of the other better mid-major teams in the country. Uh, and so that's all we can control right now is getting our team ready in the next two days. God willing, we'll have better travel uh, down there on, um, on Tuesday and uh, you know, be ready to go. And, and again, that's all we can control. And then we got to come back here and play in Carter Word. And then by Sunday, uh, we'll kind of refocus on Katie. You mentioned SFA and UIW. It is March, of course. Is yes, it's March 1st. Man, look, the sun's out, man. Yeah. Sun's out. Yeah, so the next couple days. There you go, man. See, we made it. We survived yeah. it, man. He, he pushed us down the stretch there in late February, though. We went out with a bang. Yeah, what's but, the feeling going into the final week? Yeah, I love it, man. You know, March is beautiful. We talked about that on our program. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. February is gloomy. It's hard. It's a grind. It's tough. Uh, there's a lot of grueling days behind the scenes. And obviously, that last road trip kind of just put the icing on the cake for everything. But it's March 1st. Uh, the sun's out. It's beautiful, like you said. Great weather. Uh, and if you take care of February, March is even, you know, it, it, it sets up. So this is what we play for. Uh, all these guys uh, play for this moment in March. Uh, uh, as, as a coach at this level, this is what you that's what you, you get into the business for. And so I like our team. Uh, nothing's changed on that the last 48 hours. I really like our basketball team. Um, uh, I think we're going to we're going to have a, an exciting March and uh, I look forward to, to competing with them.